If you think about a given ecosystem, there are hundreds of plants and animals that are interacting and all the species are very different. We need to figure out some way of explaining the dynamics in these ecosystems. I'm Jennifer Funk. I'm an associate professor in the Schmid College of Science and Technology. My research explores how plant physiology and biochemistry drive ecological processes. So I'm interested in how plants respond to climate change and also how we can restore plant communities that have been invaded by exotic species. In California, a lot of the grasses that you see around here are not from here. They're brought over here as um, forage for livestock. What's really interesting about these particular invasive species is that they complete their growing season in the wet winter. So when summer rolls around, they're dead, but they leave a lot of really dry biomass behind. And this actually facilitates the spread of fire. So Southern California is projected to get drier over the next century. And even though the plants that are native to Southern California are really used to dealing with droughts, not all species are gonna be able to adapt to prolonged dry periods. So we need a way to predict the winners and losers under different climate scenarios. With my students, we're conducting research. We're looking at leaf, root, and reproductive traits across a bunch of different species to try to figure out um, which traits are actually gonna help plants respond to reduced rainfall. One of the greatest things about Chapman is the focus on student-led research. Students can work independently on a project or they can work with me on a large project that's funded by a federal grant. They get to be involved in the entire process, right? So from experimental design to collecting data and analyzing it and presenting the data. Um, I've had a lot of students who present their results at local or regional conferences. It's really neat to see students troubleshooting a method. A lot of students have come into my lab realizing that they could go on to graduate school and conduct research, and that's, that's really rewarding. I think students develop just an appreciation of the natural world working in my lab, so maybe they're not interested in plants, you know, but after working with me for a couple of semesters, they're like, yeah, plants are really awesome.